What is going on, everybody, and welcome back, Kronos Holders. I have good news and bad news. Which one do you want first? The good news? Got it. Well, Tectonic is coming up, which is really nice. A good breakout in the last four days. We're seeing a 16% growth, as you're seeing right now on the screen. Oscar, is that significant? That's a good question. Well, look, we got a good breakout on the 22nd of July and it was one of the few ones you're seeing right now on the screen right here mmf tecton i mean tectonic vvs ferro protocol i'm also happy for ferro that is coming up pretty nicely from depleting from 17 cents right but tectonic take a look at this we have a resistance to break and it did i'm zooming out a little bit and you're seeing right now one two three four five finally here breaking that one so we need to break six six zeros one nine right now it's six zeros one six one eight so it's really close because after that we could see tectonic run and run and run as you're seeing right now on the screen so positively speaking that's i'm bullish on that right i'm pretty happy what's happening also if you go to the tectonic website eight percent apy that is not good eight percent right about here in the last seven days of course that's not really attractive when it comes to what we're used to right but it is what it is i think we need to be calm with that and also the latest news right now on, on twitter because they just announced the following 10 hours ago maturity lock vault is coming out soon stake tectonic for x tonic now get ready so Look at this, everybody. Aren't we bullish Kronos holders? Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notification bells, everybody, because this is pretty cool. Now, I know 16% doesn't seem like a lot, but here's where I get to the bad news. Hey, they're not terrible, worse news that we cannot recover, but it's just what it is. Always the facts and being realistic. So this weekend, we got some interesting uh facts or events happening with mmf right the sites went down because they got attacked uh the polygon one and the chronos one and well that created somewhat of a downfall and a crash in the price of mmf if i show you right here which that's one thing but the thing that actually i'm looking at which i'm pretty sad but it is what it is we're gonna come back is that if you go to DeFi Lama, where's chronos position 10 who and what is ACLA? ACA. <laughs> Cannot believe it. If we add the pool to the staking at the borrows, crypto.com Kronos is looking at position 10 at 1.35 billion. ACLA with six protocols, six dApps, putting at 1.71 billion. And I'm I'm honestly surprised because I haven't looked at it just right now doing this video. And well, they just launched. I mean, not that long ago, it seems that they were just chilling. And then all of a sudden, they added a DEX called Akla Swap. And look at that. Complete devastation. And of course, it's just, according to DeFi Lama, doing really well. Pretty happy for them. I mean, why not? But I mean, just take a look at this. In the last, what, seven day change, 1400%. In the last one month, 2700 percent gain that i mean obviously it's not gonna even compare to what chronos is doing so obviously now chronos is looking at position 10 so sad news for us but it's all right i mean we still have a long way to go to position ourselves much higher if we take pool two if we take staking and borrows what are we putting at ourselves we're gonna see right now what one more Go ahead and delete borrows right here because it does change everything. Now, Kronos is at position eight, as you're seeing right now. Akala at position six. And well, at least we're above optimism and arbitrum. But we, I mean, we, I mean, we still see a very close to one billion by TVL. So there's a lot of things changing right now, especially with what happened with MMF, right? Oh, look at that drop. Look at that drop. I know, I mean, Tectonic fam. Tectonic is the only crypto right now that is really putting a great job when it comes to the price. Because, I mean, we have a lot of people in Kronos and, I mean, definitely we want to see the VVS and the MMF and other different, uh, other different pr uh, protocols putting great stuff when it comes to the price. But that is not happening. And, I mean, a lot of the people are saying that this is a scam or a rock pool. But um, now the website for MMF is working back up again with a little bit less TVL because some people are moving to the Polygon, which now is way above 300 million by TVL. 
it's fine kudos to all of you guys kudos to all of them i may do it later on but um going back to, going back to tectonic why this is significant in my opinion well if we break this 6019 to 602 i think that could be the start of a rally and if we get a rally at least one is doing it's making us money would you agree i mean right now it's eight percent and it is what what it looks like. I'm pretty pretty excited for the maturity lock vaults that they're gonna be adding soon. As soon as it's gonna add massive utility to finally solidify some of the holders. And in market volatility, we still are gonna have some nice people locked, not being able to sell. I mean, it's gonna kind of help with the price and just make everything more smoothly. What do you think? And when it comes to the crypto fear, this is what we're looking, everybody. Pretty chill times. That's all I got for you, everybody. Quick, sweet, smooth, and to the point. I'm happy. Good and bad news, I will say at the end of the day, it is DeFi. It is what we're going through. Still, Ethereum cannot pass that 2,000, not, not being able to run. Bitcoin touched 25,000, but still retraced back. So we're still seeing some major walls in the price before we can run. And in DeFi, well, it doubles the amount of pressure and risk. So just be patient. Just stay still. I'm happy for Tectonic. How about you, everybody? You take it, you take it easy. Go ahead and smash the like button. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.